back to Quite 68 I'm, I'm Jenny. So sitting next to me is a very special guest from Project My Neighbor Alice. I believe that you have heard about the project before, right? And this is Lenny. Um, I will let Lenny introduce about himself for a little bit. Um, hello, xin chào mọi người. Lại là mình Jenny đến từ Quite 68 à, Và ngày hôm nay thì ngồi bên cạnh Jenny là một vị khách rất là đặc biệt đến từ dự án My Neighbor Alice. Rất là nội đình đám từ năm ngoái. Ok, và Jenny sẽ để Lenny giới thiệu một xíu về à, bản thân mình nha. Okay, Lenny, uh, can you please tell the audience who you are? Absolutely. Hi everyone, my name is Lenny Patterson and I'm the CEO of gaming studio Antle Interactive and acting CEO of My Neighbor Alice. And I'm really happy to be here today and share some insights on what we're doing with My Neighbor Alice. That's awesome. Okay, so first of all, welcome to this interview and welcome to Singapore. Actually, this is my first time in Singapore. How about you? What part are you here? It's actually my first time as well and I'm wanted to go for a very long time. Um, yeah, so we got invited or I got invited to represent my neighbor Alice at the All That Matters uh, conference and Web3 Matters that were just a few days ago. And also come here, uh, I mean, a big part of our audience and community is down here. Mm -hmm. And this is really a market where a lot of things is happening. So we want to see what's bubbling under the surface as well. And uh, yeah, the, temperature of the whole industry basically. Yeah, Southeast Asia is definitely the very potential market, right? Absolutely. Okay, so um, can I know more about like my neighbor Alice, about the project for, I believe that um, most of the audience have heard about it, but like, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Absolutely, happy to tell more, especially for those who might be new to the product, but my neighbor Alice is a warm and friendly, fully decentralized open world. It's, it's a game where uh, players can fish, farm, create and build and meet new neighbors and friends and also have the opportunity to grow a prospering economy for themselves or just play the game just for fun. Yeah. And it's a quite cozy world, very colorful with uh, inspiration from Scandinavian children's books but also we've drawn a lot of inspiration from games like Animal Crossing and the Studio Ghibli movies. That's awesome. Uh, when I first tried my, my neighbor Alice, uh, it recalled me as my childhood. Because in Vietnam, I do believe that you guys all know the game is Nong Jai Vui Viet. It's Happy Land, like some kind of the concept, but it's Web 2 and I don't, I'm not sure if anybody play it right now because it's like 10 or 15 years ago. But it's very familiar vibe with the Vietnamese people. And yeah, that's why when I play My Neighbor Alice, it's very chill, it's very relaxed and it's remind me about the farm and the people, neighbors, everything. Um, so um, yeah, the third question is um, which stage of the game it's itself and mm. um, do you have any interesting like upcoming plan in the future you want to announce the community? Absolutely. I mean, we're in the middle of production right now. Uh, so. We just a couple of months ago, we launched our first alpha season. So doing an alpha season model where we sequentially launched just launched piece by piece parts of the alpha to showcase more and more content to the community. So currently the team is um, very busy working on alpha season two, uh, which will introduce a lot more features than ever before. In, in the first season, fishing was the main feature. Mm -hmm. You could do quests and you can explore the newly uh, revamped town of Lumalunda, which is uh, sort of the capital of the game. But in the next season, you'll be able to explore more lands, much more art, much more features and quests, and more hang out with more friends. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, by the way, I remember that My Neighbor Alice, as you guys know, that My Neighbor Alice is one of the projects on Binance Lunch Pool. And also, um, everything goes very well about the performance and everything. So, just my personal questions. What brought you guys to come up with the idea of My Neighbor Alice? Because as you can see, a lot of Web3 or NFT games, they are, you know, shooting guns or RBG and a lot of things around that football or imagination. So what brought you to the My Neighbor Alice concept? Absolutely. And after that, I will share some more features that okay. we're working yeah, for yeah, sure. as well, just to give more. But yeah, no, it's actually exactly like you said, when we came up with the idea, everything was around, yeah, it was shooters, it was everything was sci-fi, a little bit more dark, I guess, and such. There were, everything had crypto in the name mm -hmm. or block yeah. in the name, it was something like that. So we wanted to create something that felt much more accessible and much more, much more inviting. So we draw 
as I mentioned a little bit before, a lot of inspiration from Scandinavian and Swedish children's books, but also from Studio Ghibli. So the name comes a little bit from the movie My Neighbor Totoro, mm -hmm. but we have My Neighbor Alice. Yeah. But also the name itself, we want everyone to feel like they could be a neighbor of Alice. Everyone is welcome to the game. And um, yeah, we just want to create something that had much more soft appeal and mainstream appeal. And we also chose uh, a flower for our token symbol. Yeah. So we tried to do it a little bit different. Who is Alice? Alice, sort of the main character in the game. Yeah. And she's the, the guardian of the archipelago. So she has inherited it from her uh, ancestors and now invites new neighbors to nurture these lands. So basically the guardian of, oh, of the lands. I mean, like, do you have any member from your team named Alice? We don't actually, oh, so... Okay. <laughs> That's the purpose of so, the question. So it's still a little bit of a secret. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, last question is for the audience who is watching. Maybe you guys are Vietnamese or non-Vietnamese, but um, do you have any things to say? Because we have a lot of, you know, huge support from the community all over the world, right? And the same with Vietnam community. So do you have any things to say to the community and audience? I do. I mean, we really, really appreciate uh, the Vietnamese community. I mean, so advanced and so far ahead when it comes to web free mm -hmm. and everything and been one of our strongest early adopters. So um, a few things, and we also have developers based in Vietnam. Some of our most talented developers on the game are located in Vietnam. Uh, some things that we will do more, we're going to do more uh, uh, localized articles, much more localized content. And uh, Vietnamese is definitely one of the languages uh, we're gonna roll out first. So that's one thing we'll uh, give to the community and make, yeah, sure, we produce much more content for uh, this this region as well. Um, what else? Yeah, I said I was gonna share some more news as well. We're currently working on Alpha Season 2 and that will come later this year. We're also, we just, well, some time ago we submitted our companion app to the game uh, to both Google and App Store. And this is a companion app where you will be able to, the first feature is called Alice's Wardrobe. So you're able to create your own, very own avatar for the Alice. Character. Yeah, your yeah. own character. You'll be able to redeem and, uh, and dress your avatar with clothes that you might have bought on the Binance Mystery Box sales that we've had. And yeah, start gearing up for season two and uh, everything you do in the app will be reflected upon in the game. So have a look out for that. It's coming soon. We know um, should have been, we wanted to be out a little bit sooner than before, but we're also really focused on creating quality. So we wanted to, to meet the standards yeah, uh, that we want. Definitely. So that's coming soon. So that's Okay, stay well. tuned. Wow, yeah, that's tuned. awesome. Congratulations and looking forward for what, you know, coming in the future. Okay, another question about, you know, when a crypto project, especially Web3, when they want to grow, when they want to scale, of course, need a lot of, you know, collaboration for the partner's side as well, like besides of the community. So can you tell us a little bit more about the partnership side of My Neighbor Alice? Um, you can, you know, give a little bit more details on that. Absolutely. So we just, we've been waiting quite some time to find the right partnerships because we want to sign with big ones, but also ones that really fits our community and can give value to our players. Um, so we just signed with uh, global fashion and lifestyle brand L, and we're going to work together with them to create in-game L branded experiences and quests, for example. One thing that we really focus on is self-expression mm -hmm. for our players, to have them be able to communicated our entity, but also create together with us. So, and that's something we focus on really hard right now to bring on more partner, partners that add value to our community and players. Yeah. And um, last thing, we're also scaling up the team quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So please stay tuned and have a look at our LinkedIn page for new opening positions in the future. Maybe you'll be one that joined the Alice team in the future.
Yeah, that's awesome. And of course, um, thank you so much everyone for listening to our talk and thank you so much for Lenny for fly over to Singapore and we have a chance to meet in person and talk to each other about, you know, about the project, about everything. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining this interview and thank you everyone for listening. Thank you, Jenny. It was a pleasure. See you all.